premise in x see the diagram y1 has premise x1 in the set x y2 has is y3 has any premise no so it is not a onto function clearly a function which is not onto is also called as into function i will write the definition a function f mapping from x to y is said to be into function if there exists an element in y have no premise have no premise in a in a, sorry we have taken x set x only in x now clearly intuitively tell me what is domain uh, range of the function what is the range of f the range of f is y1 comma y2 what is the codomain of the function the codomain of the function is y1 comma y2 comma y3 is it equal to set y so the range of f is a subset of a set y so we say that it is a into function so clearly f is a function from x to y is a said to be into function if there exists an element in y which is having no premises in the set x is called into function next i will go to another topic children a function which is both one one and onto is called bijective function a function f is mapping from a to b is bijective if f is 1 to 1 and onto invertible function a function is 1 1 and onto is said to be invertible function one to one and on to is called invertible function means a function is invertible implies f implies f is one one and on to inverse of a function also i will discuss in this view inverse of a function or we can also say invertible function see children see the diagram f is a mapping from a to b a belongs to a and b belongs to b let f mapping from a to b is 1 1 and on to mapping let b is any arbitrary arbitrary element in the set b since f is on to function so there exists an element a in a such that f a is equal to b to every element b in b there exists a one premise at least one premise in a such that f a is equal to b we can uh, intuit intuitively we can define a function which is uh, from b to a which associates a function to every element in b there exists a unique element in a such that f a is equal to b or f inverse b is equal to a so we can say that this is uh, denoted by f inverse symbol so f inverse is mapping from b to a if f is a a to b is 1 1 and on to 
Then f inverse is a mapping from B to A. We say that the inverse of a function now exists and this is the inverse function. So, children, I will solve some problems based on this 1, 1 and on 2 and inverse invertible functions. Dear students, <coughs> see the question. Consider a function f mapping from r to r given by f x is equal to 4 x plus 3 show that f is invertible find the inverse of f. Here to show that the function is invertible we have to first prove that it is 1 1 and on 2. The given function is f x is equal to 4 x plus 3. So, first I will show the function is 1 1. Lord, let x 1 comma x 2 belongs to r then f x 1 is equal to f x 2 this implies f x 1 is 4 x 1 plus 3 f x 2 is 4 x 3 4 x 2 plus 3 this implies cancelling 3 on both sides 4 x 1 is equal to 4 x 2 this implies x 1 is equal to x 2. So, clearly the function f is 1 1. Now, we have to show that the function is on 2. Let y is equal to f x belongs to the codomain. Codomain is also set of real numbers. So, y is equal to 4 x plus 3. From this, we have to calculate x. x is equal to y minus 3 by 4. We assumed y belongs to the codomain. So, if y is y minus 3 belongs to r? Yes, it belongs to r and y minus 3 by 4 also belongs to r since r is the set of real numbers. For any real number y in r there exists x is equal to y minus 3 by 4 such that f of y minus 3 by 4 must be equal to y. such that f of y minus 3 by 4 is equal to that is equal to 4 into y minus 3 by 4 plus 3 which gives 4 4 get cancelled y minus 3 plus 3 is 3 3 get cancelled will get y. So, it is also in R. So, f is a on to function. Clearly, we proved f is 1 1 function and f is a on to function. Therefore, f is a invertible function. Now, we want to find the inverse of f. Here, f x is x is equal to y minus 3 by 4. This is f inverse y. So, f inverse of x is equal to x minus 3 by 4. Since x is equal to f inverse y, so f inverse x is equal to x minus 3 by 4. The inverse of the given function is x minus 3 by 4. So, children, I will say that to show that the function is invertible, we have to prove that given function is 1 1 and on 2, then from there we can find the inverse of the function. So, some questions for one more questions also in examination board pattern. So, I will give one question to solve it. If f x is an invertible function, find the inverse of f x is equal to 3 x minus 2 by 5. See the children, in the question given that f x is equal, if f x is 
invertible function, what is the inverse of this function that is uh, f x is equal to 3 x minus 2 by 5. Suppose f is invertible, what is the meaning of invertible function? It means it is 1 1 and it is also on 2 function. This means f is 1 to 1 and on to. Clearly it is given. So, directly we can find the inverse of the function f x is equal to 3 x minus 2 by 5. So, y is equal to 3 x minus 2 by 5. This implies x is equal to 5 y plus 2 by 3. This is we have to solve. Directly we will get x is equal to 5 y plus 2 by 3. That is x f inverse y. So, inverse of f is uh, 5x plus 2 by 3. It is a one mark question. So, you need not explain all the things directly you can write the answer to get a one mark in board examinations. Well, good afternoon dear children. Now, I shall be continuing the class of Mr. Ravip Kishore uh, who has already taught you the invertibility of the functions. Now, the continuity of the functions which I am going to teach you is composite functions. In fact, you must understand composite functions is basically defined as an operation that binds multiple functions together. For example, if I take the you observe the graphical representation which I am e explaining you about here that there are two sets A and B which is uh, say binded by F and the two sets B and C are binded by a function called G. Now, according to the mapping rule x goes as f image into b and becomes f of x. Of course, we have a conventional notation of writing y is equal to f of x. This is a known fact for you. Now, since the elements of b are actually y, when y goes into c with reference to the g, it becomes its image g of y, which of course, be named as z. Now, let us look at this structure g of y, y is actually equal to the f image that is f of x is equal to z. I write it in mathematical form, it is g circle f of x is equal to z. So, what does it exactly mean? This is in fact a function, it is carrying the value x, leaving the value called z. In this case, this is the independent variable and this is dependent variable. Please remember in this case. So, here what happens? This g circle f is acting as a function, as a function. That means, it is, it is a combination of two functions. It is acting as a function. So, if I say g circle f is equal to some h, then it is look, it looks like h of h, h of x is equal to z. That means, g circle f itself a function that comes from a to c because it is connecting x and z. So, this is g circle f. g circle f such that a to c is called composite function. Composite function of g f and g. So, this is in fact a kind of operation in the functions that brings two or more functions together. Dear children, the importance of this topic is not only rest with the topic of relations and uh, functions, this is likely to be likely to come back even in the differentiation topic that I would be taking up in the next session. In very soon, I would be taking the next session in the differentiability. In that particular topic, you are going to come across the G circle F that is called function of function differentiation. Well, dear children, I would be showing you now one interesting example. Of course, this I would be using in the differentiation topic as well. Look at it. Supposing that g of x is sin x and f of x is x square plus 5. Now, what is g circle f of x? Interestingly, g circle f of x is written as g of f of x that is g of x square plus 5 because f of x is defined to be given to be x square plus 5. Here, one thing you must carefully watch when it was g of x, it is sin x. 
when it is g of something other than the x that particular thing will come and replace the x and it becomes sin x square plus 5. I would be taking one more example for you say g of x is equal to x square h of x is equal to uh, sin x and f of x is equal to x square plus 5. You see the very interesting aspect, I am now going to combine all the three functions, g circle, f circle, h of x. Now I have taken, instead of 2, I have taken 3. I would be explaining now g circle f uh, of h of x. What is h of x in fact here? h of x is sin x. So I will take sin x in this place. What is f of x? f of x is going to be uh, f of x is going to be x square plus 5. In that case, in the place of x, you are going to take sine. So, sine square x plus 5 is going to be f of the f of sine x and g of x is x square. Then g of something will be going to be sine square x plus 5 whole square. This is exactly what uh, a composite function is all about. Uh, if you look at these problems, what exactly I am doing, uh, I am gradually taking each one function and combining with the operation, finally de deducing uh, a function that is called G circle, F circle, H of X. It is a combination of three functions. This kind of functions can be taken many in the process of uh, uh, functions topic. Of course, in the sessions to come, you are going to face many more problems of this kind, uh, a little more higher difficulty. Thank you and have a nice time.